Welcome to RAF Colby Grange. Well, what's left of it anyway. Let's go and investigate and see what we can find. So uh, here we have probably the, the main building that's left, which is the uh, control tower, uh, which is actually supposed to be haunted by uh, a member of the air crew who looks out solemnly out the windows, mourning the loss of his uh, fellow air crew, which uh, unfortunately in the war mounted to quite a few. So uh, let's see what's left inside. Okay, so it's a bit overgrown, so we'll just fight our way through all this here. So as you can see, it's sort of been vandalized quite a bit by uh, people over the years, but it, you know, it has been closed a while. Um, I'm not expecting there to be much left inside. And luckily, oof, we can just get inside past those brambles. Yeah, we're in. So I've no idea what a lot of these buildings do. In fact, that's a very dark room there. But uh, here would be facing the runways. So uh, something to do with communications, no doubt, or control. So uh, let's just go around and have a look at some of these back rooms. Again, it's very dark and spooky, Ooh. but uh, nothing actually in here at all. In fact, everything is totally stripped out. Uh, no? Oh, you can see it's well built. You can see, well, where was electrics? But there's obviously no electrics now. The windows are originally dated windows. Oh, that looks like the toilet block there. Uh, yeah, possibly, probably, I guess. Yeah. Looks more like more toilets there. You can probably see better in this one. Is there anything left? Nope. Nowhere to go if you took short. Uh, a building which seems to be attached to the... Oh. Actually, that looks like an entrance for the back to get out. Some more stairs. Right. Oh, did we go in this bit here? Another dark room. Right, let's go up the stairs and see what's left. Still, the stairs are so well made. Mind you, it didn't need to stand uh, being shot at, so bound to be well made. Look how overgrown it is out there. It does make you wonder actually if there's another building or something underneath that there. Right, so turn the corner and we have, I don't know, like a, a step up bit there. Look, quite a high step up as well. Probably it's just a cupboard in its time. But uh, here again, it looks like every room's been <laughs> daubed with something. But you're bound to get kids in these places, aren't you? Graffiti could be from any year, realistically. So there's just no indication of what room was really what. Um, Great big RSJ there, look though. Now that must hold the whole roof up. But how odd that that's only single brick. But hey, it's holding it. What's this room here? Again, it's all original windows from the 1930s. So, uh, and this would be surely operations room. Um, step outside here, Woo, bit of a drop, again out there, look, just make you wonder what's underneath all that. Now there, well that would be overlooking the runways, uh, I think there was three grass runways here and it was a fighter base, um, and I think it kept a fighter base throughout the war, which is unusual for Lincolnshire because we're known for being Bomber County and most of our bases were bomber command. So 
Oh, I can see some steps up here, so get a bit further, because I know there's another piece on top. Well, that's all now farmland. So let's see what's on top here. And uh, just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth holding on to that railing. <laughs> Even the steps are a little bit... <laughs> Never mind, we'll make it, don't worry. I've got a phone if I fall. <laughs> oh, great big steps. And here we go. And, I mean, I would guess this would be the main observation with windows all around. You know, looking at the fighters coming back in. So... Like you say, you can see well houses and the road, the A15 there. Um, but this is all really falling down. It's probably asbestos as well. Looking at that roof, parts there. But still, I mean, constructed in 1938 and it's still standing. Uh, probably better than some buildings that have been built today. <laughs> Let's. Uh, Let's just stand on this bit here and overlook. Try not to let the wind blow us off. Yeah, amazing. So, just to give you a little bit of history about this place. Uh, I'm going to say the runways would have been over there. And there's three runways. It was known as a fighter base, constructed in 1938 and uh, opened in 1939, just at the start of the war. So, uh, just in time for war. But, I said that, we did prep up for the war anyway, didn't we? So, uh, it opened in the spring as relief landing ground for nearby RAF Cranwell, and uh, operated as a fighter airfield for uh, the UK uh, forces, the US forces, Canadian Air Force, and some Polish squadrons here. So flew from here would be the Mark I Hawker Hurricane, the Supermarine Spitfire, the de Havilland Mosquito, and the Bristol Bowfighter. But in 1944, uh, in time for D-Day, the US flew from here the Northrop P61 Black Widows and the P70 Havocs. So, uh, definitely played its part in the war. Uh, closed down just after the war, I think 1950s, in the 1950s, I think, and then reopened again for the uh, intermediate range ballistic nuclear missile systems uh, which was the Thor was here based here but only here for a few years really so in use from 1938 to 1963 right well that's just a, a quick history obviously lots more's happened here in the past and more than I can uh, waffle on about here for you um, and uh, you'll probably get bored of me anyway So let's continue looking around. I think there is another building over there. And then I think there's a, like a guard or room or something over there. Um, we'll have a look and see what exactly what that is. It might be just a, a little uh, lookout thing where you can uh, you know, a firing position. Right, so let's head down the old uh, wobbly staircase again. Uh, this could be uh, very interesting and uh, possibly where you see me uh, full <laughs> so if you see the the camera just skittle over then uh, you know what's happened but down down actually it's really just the bottom bit he says there we go oh getting my age a bit there yeah i can walk all the way around there look so not that I'm going to, let's go further out the building anyway. I think we've seen everything we can here, but some of the channels cut in there, and I think that's just a hole. Yeah, you can see right the way through. I don't think that's for anything, but those little channels look like they did something. And uh, there's more 
RSJ is under there, thank God. <laughs> Needs to hold all that up. Right, let's head out back down the stairs. Gosh knows what half this graffiti says. to fight your way out a little bit. Okay, so building number two looks like probably what if that would have housed the fire crew uh, close to the runways, sort of sort of thing, or maintenance of some description. Ah, well, there's no chance of getting in there, is there? <laughs> but it doesn't look that deep when it goes back there. I can't believe there's trees growing through, but. As I've always said when I've done these sort of things, it's amazing how quickly nature takes over. And uh, this is a good representation of how quickly it has taken over. Um, it's a great big tyre there, but that, to be fair, could be off anything, couldn't it? So, Right, well, there's not much we can say about this place, so let's just get on to the next one. again After all the overgrown things, look at this, it's quite a nice flat area. Oop. Makes you wish you'd asked if you could bring your metal detector now, doesn't it? <laughs> Wonder what would be here. So in the distance there you can just see the other building I was talking about and it does look just like a defensive position. Oh, you can see that building isn't that big there, that sort of thing, so the most part of it's hidden behind the trees there. So in the distance there you can just see the other building, it's uh, obviously a defensive position uh, to stop intruders coming onto the airfield when it was operational. So let's just have a look. Let's just have a peek through the windows and hope no machine gun is going to poke out at us. And it's certainly not. It's all trees in there. Again, another building that's just 
totally been taken over by nature. I mean, I was thinking it's time, a good viewing point. This looks like a doorway there, but there's no chance of getting through to that. A good viewing point for defence purposes. But uh, there's a doorway around here. So let's see if we can see inside at all. And absolutely no chance of getting in there. Look, the roof's off, everything. I mean, that is a lot of years of growth in there. So it's very interesting though, lovely. Still a lovely architectural building. It's a shame none of these really get saved, but then you cannot save everything, can you? But I have noticed some more building here. So uh, again, does look a bit of a no hope for getting in there. But we can zoom in on it, look, just see the top of the building there. So I'll try around the other side, see if I can see anything to get into around the other side. But it's looking like nature is doing its business here. So again, just here, look. Let's zoom back out, there we go. Absolutely just falling down. <laughs> There's like a farm gate there as well. So let me just see if I can see anything. This side of the wall. No, nothing at all. Look, it's just squeeze there. No, no. Right, let's try around the other side. See if we can see anything the other side. So I've now walked around to the other side of the building, standing on this heap of uh, brick rubble here, and there's no way you're gonna get to see anything of those buildings. Nature really has reclaimed this part of the airfield back. Now, I know you'll be thinking, uh, Mark said earlier on, it was grass runways here, and uh, this definitely looks like part of a runway here. Well, uh, I actually don't think it was actually built in the war as a runway. I think this is probably after the war and probably to do with the Thor missile system. Uh, but uh, it certainly does stretch a long way, as you can see right down there, which I've got to walk right down there to get to my car. Sort of wish I'd parked a bit nearer now. <laughs> but uh, I think that is probably what all these uh, network of roads are, it's probably just for service of that uh, system. Not sure if you can see that in the video, but there's, uh, there's a crouched hare there. I just wonder if he'll run for it, but he's not. There's a hare there in the distance. I say, so you see some amazing wildlife, but I just don't think it's gonna zoom in enough. That's, that's on maximum zoom. But there's quite a few hares in this field, and I'm sure that one's still crouched down there. Oh, there's one going just there. Hopefully you can see them. Ah, oh, and there's the crouch one just going now, look. Yeah. Amazing wildlife when you're doing these programs. And there we have the rickety old stairs to the top. It uh, looks like something out of Harry Potter, doesn't it? Let's end this uh, short tour where we started it, and that's outside the control tower here. Um, have anyone seen the ghost? Uh, I cannot remember seeing him anywhere, so uh, if you do, let me know. But uh, equally, let me know if any of your relations or anything was ever stationed here. There's a bit more information you can supply. Just you know, pop it down below in the uh, comments, and it'd be really interesting to know uh, more things. You know, maybe what was inside the building. Or, or personal details of who was actually here. Uh, so, you know, just make a comment if you know of anything. Right, till next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.